The Asher Walton House, Atlanta, Indiana. It was built in 1868. It was built by Asher for his beautiful bride, Julia Walton. He wanted to build a grand mansion for his bride-to-be. It's just a small, quaint town. Everyone in town knows this house. They know about this house. It got bought and sold numerous times over the years. We were told it was a halfway house, and it actually got in such great despair, the county was gonna tear it down. And then the current owner bought it, and has had it for about 13 years, and started working over here. The paranormal activity that was happening in the house disturbed him so much, he literally left but he won't spend any time over here, won't come over at night. It bothered him so bad, he just kind of abandoned the place for well, the last 13 or so years. My wife and I, we decided to convince the owner to let us fix the place up and rent to paranormal teams. So it took us uh, months to, to clear everything out and uh, get it to the condition it's in now. Ever since, we've been allowing paranormal teams to come in and investigate. So I started uh, a little over 30 years ago. I started back uh, before the TV shows, just started uh, doing private homes and abandoned buildings and pretty much anything I could get into. And I'm still actively involved in the paranormal as much as I can. You know, there's a lot of places that, that are haunted. There's a lot of places all over the country that are haunted. This house is consistently giving people evidence. Last night, I was in there by myself and I had heard a weird banging noise coming from upstairs and I couldn't figure it out last night. I literally went around banging on everything I could. I couldn't figure it out until today. I just happened to put my hand on a door and it opened into a desk, it hit a desk. And it was the exact noise I heard last night. You hear that rattle? Like when it hits? That's why I couldn't figure out last night. It's a very distinctive thud because of that rattle afterwards. Uh, but that happened to me last night when I was in here alone. I was nowhere near this bedroom, but I heard the sound. Things happen here all the time. We catch uh, you know, really bizarre shadow figures. We've caught endless amount of EVPs people have sent us have caught here, uh, of children laughing, uh, talking, older gentleman, uh, lady talking. Doors open on their own many times. Matter of fact, we've caught it on film seven times now. Not just opening though, closing back up, and then the next door down the hall opens and closes. So, so you know, you can actually see the path they're taking. And uh, we had the back door fly open. And in order to do that, it had to actually unlock the padlock. There's only one lock and it's on the inside. There's not even a keyhole on the outside to unlock it. You could hear the padlock open and the door just flies violently open. And after that happened, you heard a man and a woman almost sound like they were arguing. Uh, on three different cameras and are on a security system inside the house. Pretty incredible uh, piece of footage. I don't like sitting on this couch, to be honest with you. I do in the daytime, it's fine, but at night, absolutely not. Actually filmed with a full spectrum camera, an arm coming out of the floor right directly where I'm pointing, coming right up over the back couch. You can see the hand come right up over the top of one of their teammates' heads that was sitting here. And they were over there just flipping out. And as soon as he turned, it just, it was gone. We've actually caught a hand coming what appears to be out of a wall upstairs, and you can see the fingers wrap around the girl's throat. But she didn't realize that we had caught it on our security cameras, and when we played it back in slow motion, there's no doubt that it's a hand. She was sitting in that chair right there, and she had her head leaned back against the wall. This room gets a lot of activity. Self-illuminating orbs come in and out of this room quite a bit, like through the door into the room. We get the voices in here. A lot of people have caught EVPs in here. Uh, this is the room also where the music box is, where that happened with the music box. There's been uh, numerous deaths in the house, but there's definitely some things here that want to get your attention. What? Stomping around upstairs is very common. We are children running up down the hall sometimes at night when you go to lay down and sleep. We had the bedroom door shut to the Walton room upstairs. We hear running out in the hall and I said, do you hear that? She said, yeah, and I said, bam, like somebody slapped their hand on the door. And uh, I mean, both of us jumped straight up out of bed. I mean, there's paranormal or not, there's things that startle you, you know, and that definitely startled us. So it's a great house for paranormal investigation, but this house is a great house to interact with the spirits. They seem to actually want to communicate here. You know, they do things to get your attention, and then once they have it, they keep doing things. You know, REM pods lighting up and, and responses to questions 
over and over and over again. We've been told by townspeople, two children, many, many, many years ago, did die in the house. At least one boy and one girl here, they like to play upstairs, and they believe that they bring other children that have died from the neighborhood here to play with them. The children back in the day used to gather in this room and watch Mrs. Walton work in the garden outside. So this was like a little hangout room for them. Every EVP we've been sent by teams and things we've heard is always children laughing. And they said he's very short and he likes anything that beeps or lights up. And he likes to play with it and interact with people. During festivals and things, they'll sit over across in the pavilion and take pictures of the house because many of them swear they see things in the top windows up there, mainly a woman in an old-timey white dress. Many people sit in that pavilion and take pictures of these top windows specifically because they say that they see a woman in white open them. We have a music box in there that I got my wife at Disney World. And my wife said, if there's anybody in here, can you stop the music box? I mean, the moment she asked it, it stopped. Can you start it back up now? And as soon as she said it, it starts right back up. If I go down the back staircase, uh, which used to be the servant staircase, but I'll never do it because for some reason that's so ominous feeling up there at night. You feel like there's something right there with you or something, you know, might push you down the steps. You know, it's just a like that feeling of dread, I guess you get. And that seems to be the one area that everybody gets that feeling. It's very dark up there. You can't see your hand in front of your face. There's no windows in the hallway at all. It just gets very ominous feeling. People see shadow figures there. That's my least favorite area for sure. This uh, horse, this antique horse, many teams have used SLS cameras and said they've caught footage of a child getting on that horse. It's like it's trying to get on top of the horse. I think so. It's got both legs spread, riding the rocking horse. That's where they say the, the little boy with the suspenders plays with the other children. They say he looks through the banister and watches stuff that goes on downstairs. This is the Walton room where my wife and I have slept many times and gotten woken up to sounds, voices, running in the hallway, things banging on the door. Twice now we've opened the house up for tours. Many people have showed up for tours if it's daytime. Most people that come in have told us, you know, they won't even step foot on this property at night. County Sheriff patrols down and he told us that they have a telephone book kind of file on this building in particular. He said over the years, said they would get calls here all the time. They'd show up out in front right on the street. They said, we've sat out there and watched the lights go on and off. He said, it's so creepy. Now the officers want to come here. Well, in the daytime, you know, it's a beautiful home. You feel things and hear things, but not as much as at night. When the lights get get out here, it becomes, it's a whole different feel. It's very ominous. It just all feels strange at night. When I first came into this house, when the owner let me in, that very moment, I opened the front door and it was it was pitch dark and I shined my flashlight at the door that's on the other side of this wall and there was a man's face looking at me through the stained glass. I thought somebody was in the house, it was that clear. As soon as I shine the light up, I'm looking at a face looking at me. Did you see something? Like a bang from, that was a stairwell upstairs. Yeah, there were several last night that I heard. Footsteps uh, are something, pounding is something that's heard here quite often. I'd say it's in the top 10 that I've ever investigated, but no, I've not slept on this with, with that behind it, no. There's a couple things here that might be a little upset. I'm sure that was not pleasant, nor is he happy about it, you know? So I kind of feel that he might be one that's kind of causing some commotion. Mr. and Mrs. Walton died in the house. We've actually had SLS footage of a child actually crawling up in my lap and hugging me. An overwhelming feeling of sadness. Uh, you know, it was kind of heart-wrenching, really, when it happened. We've had the people put water bottles here just to set them down, and they go walking around, and we've caught them on camera, the water bottle just crushing and falling off the counter. We've had cabinets, uh, one behind you and one right here. 
uh, have opened. They've opened up very slowly and then they slam shut and it's actually broke the glass in two of the cabinets in here. So we have a, a DVR system so we can click and we allow the teams to use this. So we're able to see in great detail actually, you know, even in pitch black, objects move and zoom in on them. Most of the house covered from right here. And so you hear pretty much everything with these cameras. You can monitor pretty well. The Do you hear that? What is that? You heard that, right? Is that a child? There's nobody in the house but you and I. That almost sounded like a child. Twice. Twice, yeah. And it's not our voice talking or you'd hear it right now. As you can see, it is pouring rain outside. So a lot of people from the community, when they come over to this area, they take pictures of this house and they'll see images in the windows. So I'm gonna come over and take some pictures and see if I can get anything. I would say that's the one good thing about tonight is storms are moving in, the rain's moving in. This house is already creepy as hell. So when you factor in the uh, storm, it's gonna be even more creepy. And then us hearing those voices of the children up on the second floor is crazy as hell. Got a rainbow behind me. That's good luck for the paranormal. Tonight, my brothers and I are at the Asher Walton House in Atlanta, Indiana. Could be potentially one of the most haunted houses in Indiana. A child that haunts this house. Now several children. The one main child that was here originally goes throughout town, collects the souls of other children and brings them back to this house to play. Upstairs, they'll hear children running in and out running down the hallways. Children will set off REM pods, the equipment, and then there's a darker male presence. So right now we're down on the main floor. We're gonna start an investigation and we'll work our way through this house. This house is absolutely huge. We're gonna sleep in this house tonight. This couch right here, multiple people have sat on this couch and actually caught video and pictures of a hand coming up from behind the couch, like they're gonna grab the person sitting on it. And there's been dark shadows back here Oh, there it goes again. Are you back there right now? We're going to be here with you tonight. We brought a lot of equipment in here. They said that they've seen a black shadow manifest from this back area. When people are sitting on this couch, can you come out and talk to us? Or a child, Josh. The children inside this house. We are three brothers. We are just here tonight to talk to you. We brought some toys for you. Can you set off one of our alarms? I'm just walking upstairs. I was going to set this ball. Okay, I'm going to set this ball here on the couch. Any of the kids in here, knock that ball off the couch. That'll let us know that you're in here with us tonight. It's kind of crazy. It's like you keep hearing and walking. That's another thing. They've had multiple doors slam inside this house. I mean, this place has got dark shadows, disembodied voices. Shall run upstairs and turn all the alarms on? <laughs> oh, this is creepy. This house has got all kinds of security cameras basically in almost every room. So this entire house is covered not only by our cameras, but by their security system. So if anything happens, they're going to document it as well. Oh. Oops. That's you. Can you move away from our alarm? huge whiff of wind and I think my, even my mic, it was so hard, even my mic picked it up. Whoever's down here, like I said, my name is Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. We travel all over the country talking to people who have passed away. 
We're going to spend the night inside your house tonight. You like that alarm? If you're one of the children, can you please try as hard as you can to communicate with us? Can you please try as hard as you can to communicate with us? Mr. and Mrs. Walton, can you communicate with us, please? thinking about buying your house. Is that okay with you? Did you hear that? I heard that. It's like a big thud upstairs. Oh, this alarm's going off. Are you upstairs? Can you please hit something for us? I like walking. Let's move up. Shh. Oh. Listen. Whoa. There was a dark shadow right above your head. I told you I seen one around the evening earlier. Did you hear that walking then right before that? Yeah, I've been hearing walking upstairs. Let's walk upstairs like super quiet and slow. Whoever the kid is that we keep hearing, can you please come talk to us? Do you go around town and get other ghost kids and bring them back to this house? I heard something talking. So this room right here, this is where the lady was sitting right here and this camera up here caught something come around and grabbed her neck and this music box they've had go off on command. I've got your music box. like the music box? Can you make it stop for us? I didn't want it up that much. Josh, anybody home? We're looking for Mr. Walton. They said this house was for sale. Okay, so right now we're in Mr. Walton's room, right? Mm-hmm. What was that? I thought you were talking or something. Mr. Walton, I know this was your room. Do you like having people in here? I got a alarm right behind me sitting in a chair. There's balloons all over the floor. If you can move one, let me know that you're here with me. Do you see the kids that's in here? You keep hearing like, sounds like footsteps. Is there anybody that's following us? So I guess I heard the whole one. Whose room is this? Where's the shadow person that was choking the girl? I want to see you. You have my permission to touch me. What 
heck was that? It's like freaking knocking on the walls or something. If you're hiding in here, can you do something? Heard you like to open doors. If there's anybody in here, come stand beside me. Can you knock if I knock? Knock? Yep. Was that out there with you or over by you? Can you do that again? Like a faint knock? Do you want to talk to the kids? Or do you want to talk to the black shadow that choked a girl? What if we put you in the room where the girl was choked? Rocky and I will go down and watch the cameras, and you just stay up here for a little bit by yourself. So I'm in the room where the girl got choked. I guess she was sitting right here, if I'm not mistaken. Something like comes out of the wall and grabs her, like wraps its hands around her. So, I've already been trying to talk to the Dark Shadow. Not sure if it's something I should have been doing. Whoa. Did you just touch me? Yeah, right behind my ear, something just touched me. Can you tell me what your name is? horse over here can you make it move you touched me once I'm gonna give you permission to touch me again Walton did you choke the girl it's like I heard him walking if somebody's in this room set that alarm off in front of me That's how it came from that freaking closet. Do you like that? My head's feeling like really heavy right now. I hear you. I just can't see you. Yeah, you found my alarm, didn't you? Can you do it again? Oh, holy crap. It's here. It's with me. Are you the one that hurt that girl? Set that alarm off again if that's you. If this is just one of the kids, set it off, please. I was going to turn on a this device I got on my phone and you can talk through it. Is it okay if I sleep in this room tonight? Aaron. Hello Aaron. Are you one of the children? Come set my alarm off again for me. It's right here on that table. You like it better when I do the music box? You like that? Maybe you just don't like anybody touching the music box. I'm going to the hallway where I heard you. Give it to me. What do you want? There's an alarm right in front of me. You started talking to me there for a minute. Something back here. Do you want me back in that room? What's bad is looking down. Nice. Yeah, I'm not giving you no knife. Like, I was looking down the hallway and it was like, I couldn't even see the freaking steps and everything. Mad. Why are you mad? Mr. We're here. Ashley. 
pressure. No freaking way. Just said Asher. Holy crap. Is there anybody in here? Come on, give me a sign. Do something. Come on, if you're getting mad at me, move this balloon or something. Why don't you want to talk to me anymore? I remember. What do you remember? I think I just seen a freaking shadow over here by this door. I want you to go. Well, I'm going to be here all night. If you're stuck with me. Are you going to hurt me like you hurt that girl? Come on, move that balloon. Beside you. No way. Be I so told him. Beside me. Where? Aroused. What does... Yeah, <laughs> what's that mean? We command it. You can't understand. Holy crap. Yeah, I know. I'm not understanding you. How long have you been here? Kid. Is this the kid that goes around in town and collects the souls of other children? Something's in here with me. I hear you. Is there something I can do to try to help you? Blue. The balloon. It's blue. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. I just don't know what I did. Am I dead? Yes. I swear I just seen like a mist off to my right here. Did I just see you? Portal. A portal? Where's that at? What the hell is this thing saying? Okay, you're starting to scare me. I think Josh is sleeping in this room. He can have this room here. Look, we got all these balloons that you can move and play with. come flying back at me. I am freaking out of here. I'll probably leave all the cameras and everything. Are you trying to move that balloon? Evil. Who's evil? Did I just say something? Ow, that just freaking me out. Don't talk about mirrors. I don't like mirrors. I swear I've seen something off to the left side of me when I looked in the... Worship. Worship. Okay. Got a ring with some writing on it. Are you trying to show me something on here? Can you show me who... Who's in here with me? You got a picture coming up. Old woman on a bed. So I just got a picture of like this old woman. Look at that. Could that be uh, Mrs. Walton? Okay, I don't like that hallway right there. Not after that. Can you tell me who that was in that picture? Got another one. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Oh, sh 
Something just touched me right on my back. It was a uh, Something's freaking walking. Why you want to show me a creepy ass picture and then you want to start freaking doing stuff? I have no idea how much longer I can be up here. Yeah, I freaking, I don't know what the heck was on that picture, but it scared the crap out of me. What's crazy, as soon as that picture came up and I was looking at it, it was like something pressed right between my shoulder blades on my back. Who touched me? Yeah, you're starting to scare me. Is there another picture you want to show me? I think I've had enough of this. I'm telling you that. That picture and whatever the heck freaking was pressed on my back. That's uh, enough for me for now. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm not sure about sleeping up there tonight. Then I got this creepy picture of a man. It felt like something just like pressed right between my shoulder blades when I was trying to look at it. Yeah, I have fun sleeping in Walton's room. I think that may have been I was in the hallway. I'll she wait till you see this last one. Like a deformed baby. That's what I was thinking. When I got this one, that's when something pressed between my shoulder blades on my back. Did you hear her say Asher? Mm hmm Where I got touched, though, you know where, uh, where you had me sitting first, that room where you had the GoPro mm -hmm. sitting? That's the room I got touched in. I'll take Boo Bear and stuff in there. Can you come up and touch my bear? Set one of my alarms off. Or a kid. The kid's up here. Can you come in here with me? You can play with my bear. Can you make a noise for me? Do you like having people come into your house? Move away from the bear. Okay, you can go up and touch my bear now. Did you say something? Can you please say it again? Hello? Do you have a favorite song? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have more friends we can play with? It's almost like a faint, I hear like a kid. Is that you? Right there. If you're in that hallway, you can come closer. Do you like to play pretend? That hallway back there is so freaking creepy. I'm going to set my bear right there, okay? If you come up and touch my bear, I'll turn him back on and he can talk to you. Okay, so I'm going to move around up here until I hit an area that feels creepy. I know this is the room where the girl had something go around her throat. I want to grab my laser. Hello? 
A lot of people here have experienced you. I want to see you. This room is so freaking creepy. They said that there's an angry man inside this house. Yeah, this room's definitely creepy. This is the room I'll be sleeping in tonight. I'm going to sleep in your room tonight, Mr. Walton. Does that upset you? I'm going to be in your bed where you and your wife slept. Okay, so there's a stairwell back here that everyone says they hate to go down. So I'm going to go back to the stairwell. Whoa! Holy shit, that's a chair. Oh my god, that scared me. Come forward and talk to me. And then one thing, this upstairs is definitely freaking creeper. Right now it's fairly quiet. I'm going to switch these cameras out. Okay. Well, I got a camera that's got an IR light on it. There's that chair that scared the shit out of me. There's the steps that everybody gets freaked out about. I think sometimes with ghost hunting, plus we get into some really crazy places, you just expect it to be crazy when you go in, but sometimes you just have to be patient and it takes time. I mean, you can definitely tell something's in this house. I mean, it's definitely got like a heavy, dark, creepy feeling to it. This right here was the servants' quarters. The person that helped take care of the family here, they said that this was your room. Did you like working for the family? Was Mr. and Mrs. Walton nice to you? I give you permission to hit something. You can knock on something. We heard children in here earlier. Who is in this room? I feel like we've been less aggressive tonight than what we normally are because normally we'll work on hauntings to help a family so we're a little bit more aggressive. And then with the kids and stuff here tonight, We've tried to be a little bit more chill. And we've got so many cameras in this place too. I feel like at some point we're gonna annoy the shit out of the spirits and they're gonna start doing stuff just to make us leave. But this freaking clown over here is scared. ghost inside this house I command you come forward come on ghost I'm gonna talk to you all night long I heard you thank you what else can you do I'm going to go down the back stairwell here and just see if anything happens. You won't let anything happen to me, will you? No. It's gonna be safe, isn't it? Okay, so time to go down the uh, back stairs and hopefully be safe. Okay, I'm on the back stairwell. Nobody likes this stairwell. Are you in there with the clown? Did you hit something in here? Okay, I think I'm gonna go get Rocky and Sean 
and we will try the um, SLS camera. They said they've gotten some good SLS footage here. We'll lay in this bed for a minute. Anybody in this room? Sometimes when it's quiet, it's more creepier than when it's like loud and in your face. But I feel like sleeping here is gonna definitely be creepy. No freaking way. A kid just giggled. Who just giggled? Are you in the other bed? There's like a big space like right on this. Oh! Jesus. Hello? Something just did this bed. There's like this big space on the other side of this bed. I swear I heard something back here. Holy You're not under the bed, are you? I can't see. Hello? Where did you go? Then something hit the... I want to hear you again. Are you in that hallway? The child. Did you live inside this house? Did your mom and dad own this house? Was this your bedroom? Like if I was gonna buy a house, I would never buy like a big old creepy house. What's it like being on the other side? Can you see and hear everyone? I hear you walking in the hallway. And it's so dark out in that hallway, I cannot see anything. I know on the camera, this looks like it's like pretty bright in here. But I'll show you guys, hold on. I'm gonna get back in the bed. I'll show you guys how freaking dark this room is. That's what I see. That's how dark. This freaking room is. I got my hand in front of the camera and you can't even see it. Oh. Oh. This is creepy because I'm afraid something's going to touch me on the side of the bed. Do you not like me in your bed? My camera's about ready to go down. I've got to go back downstairs because my camera is going to go dead. Do you want to say anything before I go downstairs? I'm going to go down and get Rocky and Sean. And we've got another camera that hopefully we can see you. Okay, my camera's about ready to go dead. And this room is so freaking creepy. Hey, I'm coming downstairs. Hello? Are you back in the kitchen right now? Can you tell me your name? I can hear you. Mr. Walton, are you down here? Can I speak with Mr. Walton? Who stays in this room? Who have they seen behind this couch? Alright, I'm coming upstairs. Is that okay? 
you tell me who stays upstairs? Hazel. Who's Hazel? Stay in here. Josh is going to sleep in your bedroom tonight. Is that okay with you? No? My brother's going to be sleeping in your bedroom tonight. Do you still sleep in your bedroom? Yes. Sean's going to stay in the other bedroom. Yeah, Sean's outside. Is that Mrs. Walton? Do you like Sean? Who stays in here? Is this your bedroom? Is this your child's bedroom? We'll go live here for a little bit and then we've got some more. We're gonna do like the SLS camera and stuff, which I will say this house is gonna be like super creepy sleeping in, especially upstairs. So this right here is the room where the girl was choked. She was sitting right here by the music box. This is the room Sean's gonna be sleeping in tonight. Especially cause you got that room over there. Creepy. This is where I'll be sleeping. But mine's got this creepy ass closet. Yeah. Oh, my light just went dead. Oh, just came back on. Did it? Yeah, have fun in this room. Hello? Oh, went out again. Are you messing with my light? So yeah, this upstairs, they hear children running back and forth, knocking, banging, walking, which pretty much all of that we've experienced tonight. This room right here, I was getting some good stuff. Did you guys hear me yelling from this room? I was getting more stuff in this room than I was that other room. I was laying right here in bed and uh, I heard this kid. Yeah, this kid was definitely like in the room with me. Something knocked behind me. I didn't realize there was that big void right here behind between the bed and the wall, which makes it even more creepier. But then I checked underneath the beds to make sure there wasn't like no spirit kids underneath the beds hiding. I heard something out in the hallway. This room is kind of creepy. I can't remember if I was in this room or that other room when I got that picture and got touched. The kids that I heard earlier, can you come back in the room with us? Oh, then that bathroom over here. I was getting all kinds of shit in there too. That's what's weird is this house is so freaking big. And you'll hit like one room and everything feels like you feel comfortable. Go like a couple rooms down and then all of a sudden you feel creeped out. The minute I walked in this room, I immediately felt creepy. Yeah, let's go get the SLS camera ready. Whoever it was that put their hands around that woman's neck, can you come out so we can see you? Hmm. We know you were sitting right there. Can you go sit in that chair? There it is. What is your name? Sounds like walking. Yeah, it sounds like there's walking behind me. The children that we heard earlier, can you come out of your bedroom? We're gonna spend the night in your house tonight. This room is freaking creepy. I feel like whatever room we don't catch anything with the SLS, that's where I'll sleep. Oh, oh wow. It's right by the balls. Can you stay in this room? Can you wave to me? Oh, oh wow, it's like waving. What is your name? Mr. Walton, is this your room? <laughs> Small like a kid. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's back. Can you come closer to us? Oh, oh I swear. Whoa. It just Sorry. moved closer. If you left this room, can you hit something out in the hallway? First time that thing's going on. Clear. 
ever touch my hand. Mr. Walton, if you're in here, can you come up to me? <gasps> Whoa. Out there. Sean, bring your light. That was freaking loud. It was knocking out here. Can you hit that again for us, please? And we're going to be in your house tonight. Sleeping in your bed. Does that upset you? Stand beside it. Can you wave to us? Let us know you can see us. Are you trying to get on the horse? It's like it's got one leg over the horse. It's like it's trying to get on top of the horse. I think so. It's, it looks like it's riding the rocking horse. Yeah. Dude, it's like it's got both legs spread, riding the rocking horse. There's a rocking horse right there. It's literally riding the rocking horse, and its hands are like, you know how you like hold the stirrups or whatever? Yeah. The rein. Sean's going to sleep in here tonight. Okay, so this was Mr. and Mrs. Walton's room. This is where Sean was getting all kinds of creepy stuff. We are going to go to sleep and see if we get anything. It has just been a long-ass day, so we decided to sleep here tonight. I stole a pillow from the uh, kid's bedroom where I was getting all that stuff earlier. I'm going to leave things recording. Just lay here for a little bit and see what we get. Sweet dreams. If you don't hear from me, it means I didn't survive the night. Sean is so scared. Film. No way. I just turned Ghost Tube on, and I just turned camera on, and it says film. That's crazy. So I get my teeth brushed. Put my chapstick on. I'm ready for bed. Josh, I turned ghost tube on. Now it's being mean in here. It's definitely been a long day. This room is so creepy. Why is he here? Why is he here? Mrs. Walton, I'm going to go to sleep now. I want to thank you for letting us spend the night at your house tonight. Is there anybody that's in bed with Josh right now? Is Josh alone? Look. I'm not getting out of bed. Just tell me. Brother. Ask a question and wait. Note at your own risk. Mrs. Walton, this is your last chance to talk to me before I get to sleep. Do you want to say anything? Just me and you in here. Dancing. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Don't be dancing. Protect. Are you going to protect me tonight? Keep me safe. If I keep hearing noises from that back room. Yeah, it's been a long day and I know we've been in your house all day today. Am I on video? Hey, yep. You're in video. We're not at peace. Why are you not at peace? Who is in here with me? Her. Wife. Wife. No way. It came across and said her. I said, who's her? And it said wife. I swear to God, if something crawls in this bed with me, I'm going down to the van. Challenge. I'm not going to challenge you. Playing. Playing. That's weird because I'm getting like nice responses and Sean's getting mean responses again. She scares people. Oh. It's like super cold right here. Are you in here with me right now? They hear me scream. Hey Siri. Hmm? Set my alarm for 6 a.m. I turned on your 6 a.m. alarm. Hey Siri, I love you. I think you're pretty great too. Thanks.
Okay, everybody, I'm going to try to get some sleep. Leave the cameras rolling and see what happens. I keep hearing it in that closet. I'm too afraid to get up and see what the hell it is. This room has been so freaking loud. I have not slept all night. I just woke up. Survived the Asher Walton house. Time to get Josh and Rocky and get out of here. Team Nightmare out. 7 o'clock in the morning. I don't think I went to bed till almost 4.30. So I'm gonna make my way downstairs and get coffee. Back here in this closet, like all night long, starting at like three o'clock in the morning on, I kept hearing like um, knocking and banging and stuff back there. Walking down the hallway. Morning everybody, it is seven o'clock in the morning. My brothers and I, we survived the night at the very haunted Asher Walton house.